What's going on guys? I've got here a 2012 Nissan Versa and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the multiple fuses for the radio. So this is a sedan. I'm also going to show you the fuse locations for the hatchback Versa, which are a little different. We're going to begin by looking inside of this fuse box here on the side. We just pry in here with a flathead screwdriver or something similar and this cover will hinge outward. You can read about the fuses here on the back, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. And there is a fuse puller that you may find helpful right up here at the top. I prefer to use pliers, but if you don't have pliers, the fuse puller will be just fine. Now being that this is the sedan, we've got two fuses to contend with. The first one I'm going to show you is this 10 amp fuse right here. This is what Nissan calls the accessory fuse. And it provides power to the radio when the car is running or on. If this were the hatchback, that fuse location would be here. So if you have the hatchback, check out the fuse in this spot right here. Now, we've got another fuse here for the sedan. That is this fuse right here. And if you have the hatchback version, you will want to check this fuse. Now let's move under the hood. That's where we'll find the main fuse that provides power to the head unit. And this one's a bit harder to get to. So it's over here on the driver's side. We've got to remove this cover here. There's one tab on the left-hand side that you push in and lift up. And then here there's two tabs that we pinch together. And you may have to flex this cowl out of the way in order to fully pull out this top cover. Now we've got to slide this piece up. Again, there's a tab on either side that you push out. And then this whole entire piece comes up. I'll show you a closer view. These are the tabs for you to push in order to allow the whole unit to slide out. Now again, this is the sedan. So the sedans have a 20 amp fuse right here. The audio fuse, I believe is what Nissan calls this one. And I've pulled it out so you can see what a good fuse looks like. If this were the hatchback, we would want to check the fuse in this position. However, on this car, it is empty. I found that sometimes with these newer cars, pulling out the fuses, leaving them out for a while and then reinstalling them can help reset the radio. Sometimes these radios will exhibit unusual behavior, uh, like they'll power on, but there will be no audio, or sometimes the Bluetooth functions will not work. So uh, you may have some success with that. If you have any advice or any questions, I'd like to hear about it down below. And thank you for watching.